Hey there! I had the chance to test a great indie game called House Builder, developed by Freemind Games and published by Playway. I must say I enjoy playing this game, but I might be a bit subjective being quite a do-it-yourself hobbyist and having a passion for construction project. In this game, I had the chance to do stuff that I did not get to do in real life yet, and also see how some things should be done. Now, of course, the realism of the game is not perfect, and some actions and patterns are very simplified. But this comes pretty close to how a construction project is handled. The game starts with a very simple project, respectively an igloo, which uh, introduces you to the game basics and uh, moves on to a bit advanced project where you have to build a mud house in a jungle environment. But things get really serious when you basically become a lumberjack and start your work at the trapper house. This is where you get your first glimpse of the game's more advanced construction methods like using a tape ruler to cut the logs at the precise length given by the construction pattern. By the way, I have a live replay here from my first play of house builder where I worked on these houses. The game also has some sort of an economy system where you get paid as you advance with your construction and can also find hidden valuables on construction sites. Then you use that currency for buying materials, tools, decorations or start new projects. Now I think this economy system could be improved along with the game's progression system in order to make uh, completing the projects more rewarding and give a good feeling upon advancing to the next project. But as the game is still in early access at the time I made this review, I do believe the developers are still working hard on it and its features and we might see some cool changes by the time the game is fully finished. This is the same reason the game still has some glitches, but so far I did not come across any major bugs. Developers also announced new houses to be added so you can expect to have a long and satisfying playthrough. One of the most satisfying experience I had with the game so far was working on the Canadian house, for which I have a video right here. It's interesting how you start with demolishing the old house where, by the way, do not try this at home. Never, never ever demolish a building from the inside as it can be done in this game. Thankfully. In House Builder you don't take any kind of damage and your avatar seems to be invincible so you can have the whole house collapse on you with no life threatening consequences. Another satisfying experience I had when working on the European Masonry House for which I also have a video right here. The particular element here is that you start with the plumbing which brings an interesting take on the whole construction process. As for the house itself. This time you use bricks and concrete, unlike the previous one where, except for the foundation, you use mostly wood. The game also has nice graphics and a very nice soundtrack. So to wrap things up, I can say House Builder gets an 8 out of 10 from me in its current state. A rating which I might resume on as the developers work on the early access version. If you love construction and do-it-yourself projects, I truly recommend you try this game. Or maybe if you are just curious on how you get to have a roof over your head. If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more game reviews and other cool gaming content. I'm Exofury and I'll meet you next time. I hope.